Simone trying to get it done as about a five foot six inches tall, both coming in half a pound below the featherweight limit. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. A freestyle fighter, holding professional record, 22 wins, 11. Fighting at a cell in New York. Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Oh! And when the action begins, our referee... Ricky Simone had been saying he's sick of seeing Kelleher's bald head, so Kelleher... <laughs> when I interviewed him in, on Fight Island, I was like, yo, what happened to your hair? He's like, it's coming. <laughs> A very crisp left hook, and you saw him search for that early. Oh. Right in the middle of the octagon, too. I can't stress how important it is to get... The guys are so good now at finding the wall and getting up. It squeezed him and it popped a cut it, it, it probably was from a punch. Oh my... He's bleeding bad. Yeah, crazy. And maybe looked like a clash of heads as well, but it wasn't until that squeeze... It may have been a clash of heads, but I, I tend to think it was those hammer fists. Yeah, it kind of oh. burst open. Tell her, looking for... Oh, Ricky Simone, very... There by Simone, the half guard. Just relentless here. Look at this. He's got to start this. to work that arm back up towards the ear, Brian Kelp. Oh, we found it. We isolated it. The, the truck got it. It's a, it's an elbow. Just relentless pressure from Ricky. And he can do this. See over a thousand wrestling matches. BJJ Brown Belt under Fabiano Scherner, Joe. Now Simone's got a front headlock. You'll watch him chase the backside. There it is. Now back up to his feet. Touches it again there, coming up on two minutes to go in round one of a possible three. So what he did, knock somebody out bad. Who, who did he knock out bad in Jacksonville, John? Crazy that we call so many fights, and I can just ask you guys, and you guys, oh, this guy. It was Ezra. I'm like, okay, he didn't even look down. <laughs> Ezra is nice, yeah. too. That, that's good shoulder pressure there by Simone. And it says he inch nice. But still, every time Ricky Simone does that, it drains Brian. He takes his arm, right? And he almost cross faces shoulder pressure. So you're interrupting your breathing the entire time. I bet. Just doesn't believe he has the frame to make a title run necessarily. Yeah, because Brian's a 35 pounder himself. Yes, you know, he exactly. just needs a lot of time. But this really fight at their natural weight, how to make right. everyone fight at their natural weight. I don't think that's... Sports drink of UFC, grab one today at Casey's. He's tired now, he couldn't get you down the last time. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Right. Let me work this. You gotta look for the uppercut a little bit more. Okay. And maybe a little bit of a knee. Right. Phenomenal work by Ricky Simone. Down. And there, there's an elbow in here that caused a cut. Pound by Ricky Simone, tremendous pace, and just beautiful timing, too. Cut man Teddy Lucio did a pretty good job on that Kelleher wound. Will Simone. Ooh, good jab by Simone. Middle, nice. It's short jab. Take a drink and get going. Let's see if Brian Keller can get Ricky. Five bonuses in 10 UFC fights coming in for that high kick. His, his corner wants him to catch Ricky with. Look at this, though. Rolls right into a leg lock. I would throw that front kick again. I mean, if Simone's not seeing it and it's landing, it's careless in this fight. Do the pace he's pushing. He never stops. Hard to prevent that spinning back fist from getting through. Under three minutes. Oh, Kelleher's just having a hard time finding his openings, you know? Ricky's just... There's a good combination followed by the inside low kick. Ooh, he checked out. It's not the third Simone. It's not making him slow down either. Not at all. Right now, so yes. aware. He's yeah, so they're aware wet, of it. And Simone is so aware of what he should not be as a plenty because of the guillotine threat. And he shot, he will change his level and just drive his shoulder into... Simone working in front of his outstanding group of coaches, Fabi... Kelleher back to his feet, just over. For Brian Kelleher, this has got to be very frustrating. Just absolutely. You know, we've seen that on a couple of occasions tonight, right? And not even a reset from... But as we saw in the Marquez fight, you know, it ain't over till it's over. You know, to Brian Kelleher after he goes back, after what... Well, if he didn't, someone needs less than he used to. Oh, yes. Kelleher landed a good front kick. I'd like to see that again. Much better round, Brian. Much better. Be careful. Yeah. Come on, Brian. Brian. Right. Keep going. Yeah. I want to see more uppercuts. I want you to put combinations together. Empty it out. Let's get. Oh, it was low. That's what it was. 
It looked like. Let's go. D. Kelleher would appear to need a finish here. In the Ricky Simone, make him uncomfortable. Yeah, much better. Still has him that would warrant, uh, you know, a 10 9 on any judge's scorecard. That's <laughs> caveats when you're talking about judging. <laughs> nice jab there from Brian Kelleher. Look at do that. that. Ooh, nice low kick by Simone. But the thing is, Simone is just so thrown. Simone just changed his levels under it, and now he's got his back, you know, so Kelleher not in the middle. You got to isolate a hip, start driving your elbow back inside. I thought threatening was a great word as well. There is no position there. Get his back to the center. He should have tried to arm, straighten his arm out. This position with Ricky Simone, I where think Simone wants to be. Also, the problem is even if backing up, it's just stylistically, you know, we knew this was going to be a crazy. Kelleher tries to sell out for the guillotine. Simone just stays all over him and one step ahead at every turn. Brian though keeps going, fitting a guy that has the type of style that really does cause him problems. Explosion, explosive energy. It's just really difficult to get big movements, and then you kind of build and bridge back into them so that you're on top. And the hand almost reversed. Oh, look at this. Yeah. See that? He's on top. This is a much better position to attack with it. And then he's using hand almost crowbar it over. Nice job by Kelleher to scramble back to it. Gotta see, you know, to heck with it. Throw caution to myself. There's been a few times where I almost cussed him, and that was one of them. So. Oh. I mean, this is as clear a victory as Ricky Simone's ever had in his job. To wrestle for 15 minutes, when he can fight like this, he's where he's uncomfortable. And as he continues to improve, John, I don't know where he's... Debut in 2018, a win over Marab Dwalish Willie. Is because he can defend the takedowns of him, right? Oh, front kick up the middle Another again. Like, right. He keeps getting better. Great performance. Fought through it as best he could. But tonight belongs to Ricky Simone. You can look at it. Right here, you see him popping that jab. Chain her up very early. Watch him turn his elbow over from the top position. Leg. And the way he's finishing it, he's just sitting him down to the face. Leaves it up there. Simone catches it. Level chain. Round and pound by Ricky Simone. And, and just once again. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' score. Unanimous decision, Ricky Simone. Some respect between those two combatants, but Ricky Simone, little school wrestling program that he is no longer running, but he has.